among the tools we're going to need to practice population-based medicine and to promote population health, certainly among the tools, well, first we'll be training and education, what does all this mean, like we're doing today. And certainly an electronic medical record would be a key tool in the toolbox that we're going to need to practice population-based care. How come? Well, how will we be able to organize the information that we're going to need about the population? So, concrete example. Currently, I'm a primary care internist. I'm part of a 20-person faculty practice of general internal medicine. Um, I regret, but the people who pay the bills for what I do in the office, they know more about my patients than I do because they have the information and they're the ultimate bill payer. We need to turn this upside down and backwards on its head and we need to put that information in the hands of the doctors, nurses, and pharmacists and others who care for these patients. So the EMR will enable us to create, for example, a registry of patients so we'll have instantly on my screen all of the diabetics in our 20 doctor practice, all of my diabetics, all of the heart failure patients, all of my heart failure patients. What is our generic prescribing rate? How are we doing on our HEDA scores? How are we doing just in general terms in our patient satisfaction scores, our, our revisit rate, our failure to follow through? All of those amazing measures, now we'll be able to have them at our fingertips and I think we'll be able to do both self-evaluation, how am I doing post last year, and then uh, regional comparisons, how are we doing against our you know, latest, uh, greatest competitor, and then national comparisons, how are we doing against the rest of the nation. You cannot expect to do that without the power of a registry, and the registry is based on having an electronic medical record. So instant access to good information at the right time, that will drive the population health agenda.